Plotting the future of your health care. You can't see it, but it's happening behind closed doors. And not only is the future of the industry at stake, but so is the drug industry. And as you can imagine, they are going to great lengths to try to woo lawmakers to see their side of the argument. According to a new article out today in Time magazine, in the first six months of 2009, this is the first six months of this year, drug companies spent close to $110 million to influence the debate. Karen Tumulty is a senior writer for Time Magazine. She joins us now. Karen, just how much cash is floating around out there on behalf strictly of the pharmaceutical industry trying to influence what's going on behind closed doors on Capitol Hill? Well, that $110 million breaks out down to $609,000 a day. The drug and biotech industry is spending more than any other segment of the healthcare industry to influence this debate and it's it, they're getting a pretty good return on their investment yeah now in terms of how many people are out there roaming the halls of of capitol hill and in terms of lobbyists what, what are the numbers well basically it, it boils down to two for every single member of congress so this is also a pretty uh, full employment industry as well and you know congressman emmanuel cleaver a uh, democrat of missouri said that he's never seen in 30 years of politics, lobbyists so thick outside congressional offices, he says, it's even difficult to get to a vote. You've got to wade your way through the crowd out there. Is there anything to compare this to in, in the last 30 years? You know, certainly not that I've seen. And it's not just the lobbyists. The money goes into a lot of other things. It finances a lot of, you know, so-called research, expert reports, consultant reports, um, a lot of, of do good organizations are springing up with you know names that that sound like you know the, quite beneficial organizations but you look at them and it turns out the whole things are, are being hmm. run by drug company money now prescription drugs ha haven't been a huge conversation in the overall debate over health care reform you know most of it has you know been leveled at the public option whether or not abortions are covered the so-called death panel debate how much money is in this for the drug companies fight has been over something called biologics and these are right now they're only about 20 percent of the market but that they are by five or six years from now these biotech drugs they're miracle drugs are probably going to be something like half of all new drugs that get approved and the big fight right now is whether there will ever be something like a generic equivalent for these drugs that can cost 20 40 even two hundred thousand dollars a year to to administer and, um, you know, the Federal Trade Commission basically says they should get no protection at all beyond their patents. But both the House and the Senate key committees have voted to give them 12 years be of protection beyond their patents. And this is something that is going to, you know, make hundreds of billions of dollars a year for the industry. But that, that money is going to be coming out of the pockets of insurance companies and, and the patients who need these drugs. So the principle that they're working on now is spend a dollar today to try to save 10, 5, 10 years down the road? That's right. But it, there's a real, you know, there's a balancing act here because you do want to have the financial incentives in place that encourage these, these companies to keep coming out with these blockbuster mm -hmm. drugs. So they are saying that it's absolutely crucial that they have some sort of pa protection here so they can keep working. But again, the Federal Trade Commission has said that giving them too much protection could actually stifle innovation because these guys are just basically going to sit on what they have and tinker with that rather than going out and finding new stuff that yeah. we all need. And just so folks at home know what we're talking about in terms of these biologics, a couple of names you might recognize, Herceptin, which has been a miracle drug in terms of some forms of breast cancer, Remicade, which is a, a drug for rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, these are all very, very, very powerful drugs that work very well and, and, and certainly beneficial to society. And, and again, the argument is just how much protection do you give the drug companies who are coming out with these drugs but overall Karen between the, the pharmaceutical industry the healthcare industry the doctors lobby how much money is being spent how much money is being thrown around on Capitol Hill these days it's it's well into the hundreds of millions of dollars and a lot of it is very difficult to trace mm -hmm. because it is going not only into the campaign coffers right. of elected officials and the salaries of lobbyists but also into organizations that are essentially front groups for these interests. 
and for, you know, scientific sounding cons consultant reports. So, so, so with all that money floating around in Washington, who really has the influence here? The lobbyists or the voters? That that is a very good question, and right now on some of these key questions, you've got to you've got to say that the lobbyists are getting pretty much everything they're asking for. And you know, considering how important it is to bring down healthcare costs in the long run, uh, I think the rest of us are the losers. Karen Tamalutip from Time Magazine. It's always great to talk to you. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks a lot.